personally, I just think he's an all-around nice guy. I'm very interested in these history books that he's been writing. He has a much greater reach and grasp of, of politics, in my judgment, than most of the candidates. They're all talking about the same guy, the former Speaker of the House turned author who is making a special appearance at the borders in Naples. As you can see, there's a pretty large group behind me, eagerly anticipating the arrival of Mr. Newt Gingrich. The sound of applause welcomed the man named Man of the Year by Time magazine in 1995. I must say that uh, all of our members were very happy to be here. They thought this was a, <laughs> uh, they thought this was a very good idea. While speaking about several of his books, both fiction and nonfiction, he focused primarily on one of his novels. You know, with December 7th coming up, we think Pearl Harbor has got a lot of lessons about national security, and I hope people find when they read it that it reminds them uh, how dangerous the world can be. Several people got a chance to ask questions. One of them was the ever-popular, why aren't you running for president? I would never run the way our candidates in both parties are running this year. I think it totally debilitates leadership in this country to, to allow the news media to be dominant and the candidates to be the sufferers. After more applause, the fans waited patiently in what seemed like an endless line to meet their special guest. Well, thank you for coming by. Thank you for being here. I mean, it's very humbling to realize how many people are willing to go out of their way to spend part of a Friday evening with you. And I think it makes me feel more committed to writing books and to trying to communicate and to doing the things we're doing. Mr. Gingrich currently has five books published, and you can find them all at your nearest borders. Reporting for the News Press in Naples, I'm Christine Lee.